morning from Rio. This is the last morning in the city. We just had our breakfast and now we are ready to hit the road. We checked out from this beautiful hotel. The weather is perfect today. I wish I could stay longer but Sao Paulo is waiting for us as well as Iguazu Falls. We spent 10 amazing days in Rio de Janeiro. We have done so many activities. We have seen so many gorgeous places and we discovered beautiful things that this city has to offer. This is how a cemetery in Brazil looks like. Lots of monuments. Cemeterio de João Baptista. And right there in front, we have a favela. From Sao Paulo to Rio de Janeiro, and from Rio de Janeiro to Sao Paulo, you will find a few tools like this one. And the cost is starting at 350 and it can go up to 12 or 13 real. Let's see how much this one costs. 15, 20. It's the most expensive so far. We stopped for coffee number two on our way to Sao Paulo because we still feel very sleepy. And we found this gas station with a big supermarket. In almost every supermarket, we gotta take this card to enter and then return them when we want to exit. I'm thinking to buy something sweet. Zero sugar. We just arrived in Sao Paulo. This is our view. Almost sunset time, it's 5 p.m. We're gonna go out and explore a little bit. We have to rest, given that tomorrow we will fly to Foz de Iguazu to see that beautiful, stunning waterfall, Iguazu Falls. I'm waiting for such a long time to see it. Let's see what Sao Paulo can offer us in just a few hours. By the way, there's police everywhere in the city. And they are talking with some people, I think homeless people, I'm not sure, but to me, they seem a little bit dangerous. We are heading to Plaza de la Repubblica. We asked the staff from the hotel if the area is safe and they said yes, but to be careful because some people could try and steal my camera. Think they're watching the game or no? Unfortunately, as I already told you, we only have tonight and another night when we come back from Iguazu Falls. It's obviously not enough for what it has to offer, but at least we can see a part of it. And we are situated somewhere nearby downtown, so it's easy to walk in this area and see a few of the places. We arrived in Plata Republica. This is Praca da Repubblica. It's like a small little park. It's pretty dangerous in the night. How amazing and huge this tree is. Now we are in Praca Ramos and it seems there's a concert going on here. The building 
that looks like uh, the Empire State and is called uh, Altino Arantes is actually the Bank of Sao Paulo. So you can go up to level 26 and find the observatory deck and cafe. Books for only one real. But of course they are in Portuguese. Oh, not all of them. For example, this one is 23. Something is definitely going on inside that building. We walked a little through downtown, we ate and now we're going back to the hotel because I need to get ready for tomorrow. We have the flight at 2 p.m. but the airport is 80 kilometers away from the city so we need to wake up early. We just arrived in Sao Paulo and we are going to the car rentals. We're gonna rent a car for one more extra day. We are in the baggage claim but we have no baggage to claim because we only have our hand luggage. We left uh, the checked in luggage at the hotel. Sao Paulo for only one day. This is our car. We're just gonna take it out for a ride because the distances are pretty big and we need to get to at least three points. We decided to uh, take the car instead of walking because there is no time for walking and the distances are pretty big. As I said, and first up it will be Baco do Batman, a very famous neighborhood or street uh, full of graffiti. We parked the car somewhere over there in front of that building. I'm filming just to not forget. <laughs> This is Baco the Batman. I can see already how colorful this place is and full of people. up next to Ibirapuera Park but it was too crowded and the sun goes down very soon so we decided to go to Avenida Paulista
list is Cathedral du Sé, the most impressive and most beautiful cathedral in Sao Paulo, built in uh, the 16th century in the neo-Gothic architectural style. The cathedral is 111 meters long and 65 meters tall, that is excluding the towers which are 92 meters high. watching this vlog I hope uh, you liked it I hope you will keep following my new adventures and travels and I hope you will follow my Instagram as well because it's the place where I'm posting photos regularly more often than I do it on YouTube and let me show you the view one more time that being said see you next time bye